Hey, welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to graph something that's kind of unique to polar graphs and polar equations. R equals the cosine of 2 theta or 3 theta or 4 theta gives you some very interesting graphs. It's kind of like a little flower and so therefore they call this the four leaf rose. So let's graph R equals cosine of 2 theta. Again, I've got a table ready for us. Angles from 0 to 2 pi. Notice that initially we have small intervals and then we make the intervals a little bit bigger. Of course, then we have to multiply the angle times 2 and then take the cosine of that double angle, which then is equal to r. So let's see what this graph looks like. So when the angle is pi over 6, which would be to the line right over here, then we, well, actually start at 0 when the angle is 0. And I made the fourth circle the radius equal to 1, otherwise the the figure would be too small. I didn't realize that we didn't have any coefficient here and so therefore I want to expand the circle a little bit. So let's say that out to the fourth circle that's the distance equal to 1, r equals 1 at that point. So that's our first dot right there. Second dot at pi over 6 it's equal to 1 half that would be right over there. At pi over 4 that will be 0. So notice that we start from here and it goes right over here. That's just going from 0 to pi over 4. Now how does it continue? At pi over 3, which is at this angle right there, it is minus square root of 2 over 2, which is about minus 0 0.7. So at this point, minus 0 0.7 would be right over here somewhere. So it would be 0 0.5, 0 0.7 would be right about there. Then at um, pi over 2, the, the um, distance is minus 1. So pi over 2 is in this direction. Minus 1 means I go down here all the way to this point right there. So you can see that this continues all the way to here. So now we've gone from there to there. And that, rep that is represented by the curve that we have so far in this location. All right. So it's beginning to shape up. Well, maybe you can't see it yet. So stay tuned and see what happens next. At 3 pi over 4, we get 0 again. So 3 pi over 4, that would put us right here, and then we go back to 0. So what happens is this comes back down and back down to 0 like this. So now we are at this location. At pi, when we're facing in this direction, now we are back to 1. So at pi, we're back to 1 right here. So that means this curve continues on like that. Okay, so now we're down to this location. Okay, now 5 pi over 4, we're back down to 0. So 5 pi over 4, we're pointing in this direction, we're back to zero. That means this graph goes back in and goes like this. Now we're over here at three pi over two. So what is that? That's 270 degrees. So now we're facing downward, but notice then the distance is a minus one. So even though we're now 370, 270 degrees in this direction, we have r equals negative one. That puts us back over here. That means the graph continues on like this. And finally, when we come around, at 7 pi over 4, it's back to 0, so that means we come back over this way, and finally, so now we're here, and at 2 pi, we're back to 1, so when we come full circle, right this, then the graph continues on like this, and we end up with what we call a four-leaf rose. Now, when you said, wow, I don't see how exactly he did that, what you can do is you can add a few more points, but in other words, have smaller intervals, and then the way the graph continues will become a little bit more obvious. But just to make it a little bit easier to see with a smaller number of points, you can still see that we get this beautiful curve called the four-leaf rows equal to r is equal to cosine of 2 theta. And that's how it's done.